The natal mahogany is one of the more rewarding plants to grow indoors. It is ideal if you want a fast growing large leafy tree like plant. It will definitely overpower the room if that is the look you want. The leaves which are very attractive are medium sized oval with a deep shiny green. This plant is much easier to manage compared to say palms or a dracaena. The natal mahogany is typically much more expensive than plants such as the majesty palm which is sold in big box stores. But also consider that the failure rate of the majesty palm approaches 100% for most people whereas this plant will outperform the others. The natal mahogany originates in Africa and is named after the province of KwaZulu Natal, which is on the eastern coast of South Africa. KwaZulu means the home of the Zulu, a tribal group in Africa. Our Nova Scotian supply of these tropical plants comes from Florida. In the wild, it grows in wet areas often shaded by the other trees. The natal mahogany is a more recent addition to North American house plants compared to traditional species and many people are not familiar with it. I would add that it is one of the easier plants to grow indoors requiring fairly light care. It can be purchased as a small plant about 2 feet in height or a larger one reaching 6 feet. It is rarely sold as a solitary plant in one pot. Instead, these are usually grown as clusters of four to six plants. This results in a fuller appearance as the plant matures, especially if there is leaf drop. In fact, the next plant that I plan to purchase is going to be smaller. The reason for this is that if the plant is grown under the lighting conditions of your own home by a specific window, it will not have issues adapting. There will be less leaf drop as the plant matures and the overall results will be superior. You can probably apply this principle to other expensive plants as well such as fiddle leaf ficus. Another potential advantage in purchasing a smaller plant is the reduced possibility of infestation. The nettle mahogany is ideal if you do not have bright south facing windows. Save those areas for high light plants this plant gets stressed under bright light, which will accelerate water consumption and susceptibility to drying. It is best grown under moderate lighting conditions. It will survive under fairly low light, but do not expect it to grow rapidly. A wonderful feature of this plant is that it does grow rapidly, for example, a foot or more annually under ideal conditions. You can start pruning the growing shoots at the top to control growth when it has reached the height that complements your room. If the trunk is bare, lacking leaves, you can prune the trunk to the desired height and it will grow another shoot. Some experts recommend that you rotate the plant for even growth while admitting that doing so can re result in leaf drop. I have not found this necessary and my feeling is that each side of the plant will adapt to the amount of light that it receives. This should mitigate leaf drop. This plant requires consistent watering. The best way to determine this by checking the soil about an inch below the surface. Water thoroughly if it is dry. Ideally, keep the soil moist but do not overwater. You should only need to water it once a week when it is grown under moderate lighting. Overwatering has been reported to leave punched out lesions in the leaves. I have noted that in winter, especially when the days are short in December, the plant becomes fairly dormant and water demands decrease. However, be careful not to let the soil go too dry between watering since this could be fatal. It does fine with application of fertilizer once a month. In my experience, the most frustrating issue with this plant is pest infestation. I have yet to find a large mahogany that was free of brown scale insect. 
you should look for small oval shaped structures on the trunks. Another telltale sign is the sticky discharge from these insects on the leaves. You should discuss this issue with the greenhouse personnel. Chances are that your plant has already been treated aggressively with pesticides. However, don't be surprised if insects appear in a shorter time after you bring the plant home. I use my usual regimen of insecticidal soap, raid home and garden spray and a homemade neem oil spray. I have never been able to eliminate these insects completely but only to control or cut down on their numbers. I recommend taking the plant outdoors or in the garage for these treatments. In the winter when this is not possible, I simply use neem oil spray since it is not considered harmful to people as far as I know. The good news is that the plant still appears to thrive in spite of some insect infestation. I have not had a problem with transference of insects to other plants. However, the nearest plant is about 12 feet away. To summarize, the nettle mahogany is a fast-growing, low-maintenance, majestic tree-like plant that thrives in moderate lighting. However, it requires consistent watering. It is ideal for a spacious room with a high ceiling. Thank you for watching.